Sandy says read. Welcome to the channel. I am going to do a mystery unboxing. There are mystery boxes. We don't know what's inside. In fact, we do know what's inside. It's books because I am not one of those YouTubers who can afford to order like $10,000 and $20,000 mystery boxes to entertain my subscribers. I cannot afford to do that. So instead, I went the less risky route and I purchased mystery boxes that said they were books and they're like, $25 <laughs> instead of, you know, 20,000. I have seen some YouTubers out there who buy these mystery boxes and, and one of these guys bought a box for, get ready for this, $100,000. Who on earth can afford to buy a mystery box for $100,000 on a whim? I, I don't know who these people are who can afford $100,000 for something just to film it and see if it's interesting or not, to see if they get their money's worth or not. Instead, we are going to do the $25 book boxes and see what I got. Okay, guys, box number one. As you can see, it's not very heavy, so I'm going to unbox here. Um, I have removed my address label so that I'm not flashing my address at you guys. And let's... Uh, Let's see what we've got here. Let's see if I can do this without self great harm. <laughs> All right. Let's see, inside we have. Oh, there's a packing label that reminds me. Ooh, okay. I paid $12.59 for this box. And it is. 10 science fiction fantasy books. Ooh. And it says it's from popular authors, so we shall see. We have lots of bubbles. Right. Ooh, there's a Star Trek. There's a couple Star Trek books. Oh, I'm pleased with that because I don't have any more of my Star Trek books that I used to have. Oh, guys, this is a good box. Okay. How many are there supposed to be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, so he sent me more than 10. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so that's that's nice. All right. Um, well, let's see. Should I just... Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm so happy. Look, alien. No. In space, no one can hear you scream. I love the alien movies, you guys. Oh, my God. This is one of those movies that when it's on TV, I will stop what I'm doing turn to that channel and it will be on in the background. It, sometimes I will just stop and just watch it. But, you know, at least it will be on in the background. I've never read the book. <gasps> horror of all horrors! I know, I've never read the actual book. And now I've got the book! Oh my gosh, this was worth it just to get this! Oh, I'm so happy! What else is in the box? We have a couple of Star Trek books. Let's see, let's whip these out. Star Trek and Star Trek. I'm happy about that. Oh, very good. We have Star Trek Bloodthirst. I think it's focusing. I don't think. There we go. So one is, ooh, Star Trek The Next Generation Chains of Command. Ooh, and it's got the doctor on the front cover. Mmm, Gates McFadden. Love her. Ah, we have Contact by Carl Sagan. You know, how many pages is this? Oh, darn, 434. In the month of September, there is a readathon going on, and one of the challenges is to read a, a science fiction book that is over 500 pages. So I'm looking for one that's over 500 pages on my shelves. I don't know which one I'm going to read yet, so I was kind of hoping maybe this was one, but no. Next, we have, ooh, Sabriel by Garth Nix. Oh, look at this. Redwall by Brian Jacques. Jacques? Jacques? Maybe Jock? I don't know how we would pronounce that. But look. Oh, that looks fun, doesn't it, you guys? Oh. Oh, good. We have another Star Trek one. Triangle. Next we have 
Jim Butcher, Death Masks. Ooh, book five. Okay, I haven't watched The Dresden Files on TV. I, you know, I don't have time to watch television, right? I've not had time to watch television in years. So I have not seen The Dresden Files. So I don't know if book five in The Dresden Files is something I need to, um, I don't know, have a preview for before I jump into it, or if I can just jump right into the middle of a series. Ooh, R.A. Salvatore, Echoes of the Fourth Magic. Look at that cool cover, you guys. Here, we have, a, oh, here we go. A novel of the Dresden Files. We have another one from, from Jim Butcher. Look at that where you guys can see it. And then we have Conan. Oh, excellent. Okay, I'm looking to see if this is like book one, book two, etc. Um, oh gosh, it's like smack in the middle. But by Steve Perry. Okay, so... I'm not familiar with the Conan series or the way it works, but it appears that it goes kind of like maybe the James Bond series does. You know, different writers, different authors who take the character and then write about his adventures. So, kind of smack in the middle, this story is, but I don't know if it'll matter or not. So, here we go. Conan the Indomitable. I am very happy with that first mystery box. That was great. Not bad. Not bad at all. That is, uh, that was a good mystery box experience. I'm pleased with that. $12.59 and 11 awesome books. I'm pleased. That turned out all right. Okay, guys. Let me get this box off my lap. Okay, guys. I'm going to film the next one next. I might go ahead and edit and upload these at the same time. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel. Let me know that you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment area below. And let's talk about some of these books and any experiences that you guys have had with mystery boxes. Thanks so much, guys.